welcome back. Today we're going to spend some time with another one of our favorites. This is the 2006 Campania T-Rex. Obviously a very unique car here, so we're going to walk around and just uh, identify the components that kind of help it stand out, but uh, obviously it doesn't look like anything else on the road. It's a three-wheel vehicle. you got two conventional front wheels with a rack and pinion steering up front. Uh, F1 style suspension. You can actually see the, uh, the additional chrome for the springs and the arms. Uh, it looks really amazing, but uh, black in color, obviously, as you can see. Uh, this is a fairing that really covers the front. I say fairing because a lot of this car is... Uh, Actually, the drivetrain is a 100% motorcycle component, uh, including the sequential box, but uh, we'll show you that uh, in a second. See the windshield here? Uh, come around to the side to take a look at the front wheels. Here you're going to find a 205 45ZR16 and Eagle uh, F1 tire. You can see the Willwood brake caliper in there with the cross drill rotors. Uh, Willwood being famous for uh, supplying some of the better racing brakes you can find on the independent circuit. But it's a two seat, you know, no door. Uh, interior obviously just drop yourself in but looking down the side uh, you obviously have an intake fairing here that goes right into the radiators which sit right behind the front passengers and then a luggage box here uh, you do have some nice extra room in there and you have one on both sides pretty sweet on the single wheel setup back here you got a 285 40 zr17 which is nice uh, upgraded exhaust you've got twin muzzy outlets here uh, you obviously can see both exhausts on either side makes an amazing sound when you're behind the wheel but again, coming around the side, the uh, rear engine right here, it's a 1200cc Kawasaki engine. And then again, you got your driver's side saddlebag. Um, from there, literally drop yourself right in. You do have this intake right here. Now the intake will take air to the engine, which is usually what it does. The simplicity of this car, I can't state enough how simple it is to use, but uh, to drop in, obviously it's a smaller car. You can see I kind of dwarf it in my comparison here uh, in height, but it is simple to get into. Uh, you're gonna slide one foot in first, drop my butt down. You've got a removable steering wheel, which as I grab that, pop that right on, put my seatbelt on obviously, fire it up and I'm ready to go. Really basic layout here. Obviously it's all functional. You can see some of the Kawasaki components right from the motorcycle lifted here. Uh, your brights, your turn signal, your horn, which when it's on it'll work. You do have a choke here because this is a carbureted model, but an 11,000 RPM redline in this 1200 motor. Uh, this car apparently will top out at 140. I'm not really choosing to go that fast today, uh, but this is really intense. I don't think there's a more uh, adrenaline prone driving experience. This really does kind of enliven all the senses and you're down right at the ground. So obviously uh, the layout's fantastic, but a uh, race style steering wheel, clear gauges here, nothing too complicated. This is different from the uh, 2010 we just tested. And this car also has an upgrade of a Alpine CD player with speakers built in, which uh, you don't normally see on these cars. But I really do think that uh, seeing all these wonderful components and getting up to up close with the car, uh, it's time to take it for a spin. It's an 06 T-Rex Campania, Campania T-Rex, and for some of our more avid viewers, you'll probably recall that we drove a red one of these, a 2010, a couple weeks ago, and uh, my buddy Mike over at DNM called, and he goes, hey, Chris, and I said, yeah, and he goes, you remember that uh, T-Rex video you did? I said, yeah, Mike, yeah, I remember. He goes, well, we sold it. The gentleman who owned this actually traded up almost immediately for the uh, 2010 after seeing that video. So obviously this is somebody who enjoyed this car so much that they felt it necessary to replace it. There's really nothing else that's more enjoyable on the street as far as just a raw, visceral driving experience. I mean, the thing about how quick that clutch is, right there, second gear. Such a cool sound. But I'm comfy actually, and it's not that warm out today. 
believe it or not, the front end of this car is actually doing a great job of shielding us from the wind. And this thing runs strong, just really strong. You can tell it's been loved. And that is single-handedly the most important thing in a pre-owned car. Make sure it came from a good home. Pretty cool. Obviously, it's a hell of a day for a ride in this car. Gloomy Chicago day, but what an awesome ride. What a cool car. It's comfy. I'm in fourth gear, just idling along. You can see the articulation of the wheels here as we go through the, the turn. I'm watching them steer myself here, but powering out is easy. It's really simple. Just having a blast with this thing. What a cool ride, obviously. This is such a sweet, unbelievable, intense just driving experience. Look how low I am on the ground. 